YouTube, what the crap's going on? Air of Carthage back uh, in the uh, battle for Etchison, where I left off last time. Um, I'm going to try and take out some light cavalry that's attempting to capture a tower over here. I brought some Yari Ash down to do this. I don't like to do this because my guys are not uh, unbreakable in their morale whenever they're not in the top tier of the fort. But um, I'm going to have to just deal with it. I think by numbers we should, we should take care of the light cavalry with relative ease. Um, the other forces are going to be nigh impossible for me to beat, really. Uh, I'm just going to pull all my guys back here to the back uh, in order to force the uh, enemy to have to climb all the walls, take losses doing so, take losses from my towers. We just want a the biggest bunch of attrition that we can inflict on the enemy, essentially. That's, that's what we're looking for. So let's go ahead and keep fast forwarding. Um, like I said, I don't think this battle is winnable, but I'll take every kill I can get along the way because Takeda Shingen's gonna have to come back and retake this from these goons. Um, and we'll see whether or not I can control the Uesegi. You can see that they're already trying to march around me, so uh, it's gonna be kind of crappy because I'm gonna be constantly uh, stuck between two different places trying to both keep my settlements alive and um, and keep my I don't even know what I'm trying to say <laughs> keep my settlements alive and 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 uh, try and be in multiple places at once is what I'm trying to say I'm gonna see if we can maybe spear wall right here Got some bow ronin coming up over here, so that was, that was definitely a mistake. These bow ronin may stop though and start trying to shoot me. There's even more bow ronin down here. There's a lot of bow ronin in this army, unfortunately, and they're going to shoot me to death for the most part. In fact, they may just stand right there and shoot. Yeah, that's what they're going to do. So I'm going to have to charge them. I was hoping I could spear wall them. Actually, I may still be able to. I'm going to try and get my guys in the spear wall. There we go. Because uh, my guys will be more effective in the spear wall. Um, the, like I said, the, the biggest problem I'm going to face here is that I have to protect the um, I have to protect the keep. Is there some reason why you guys won't come back up here? Kind of need you. Got Bo Ashigaru. Let's keep the Bo Ashigaru in the back. I got three units of them. We need to protect these Yari Ashigaru who are about to be rear attacked. We managed to inflict some damage on the Ikoiki. Yari Ashigaru, let's try and get into wall. Oh crap, my guys have like just like one guy amongst them in combat. Come on, I want to get into Yari wall. Come on! Get out of combat. I think there's like one guy right here. Yeah, there's one bad guy touching me. I managed to get into the Yari wall. This is good. So we'll, we'll do much better versus all the lone swords because of this. We've got to keep them from capturing the uh, we've got to keep them from capturing the, the fort which they could potentially do because of the position I've got myself in got another Yari Ashigaru over here let's just keep him safe I got my samurai retainers as well somewhere around here yeah here they are yeah they're on the fort right now so we're gonna have to move in and take it back get off the fort get off Get off of it! I don't want to have to pull through. Uh, go off fire it will, actually. Come over here, please. Get all of you off fire it will. I've only got 44 seconds, 45, 46. Okay, it's counting back up. We're doing okay-ish. We're, we're getting quite a few kills here, all things considered. Not an ideal situation, but it's not bad. If I can keep my guys in a Yari wall... And let's get these bowmen. And I'm going to try and put some shots in those Lone Sword Ashigaru real quick. I'm going to try and come into the flank of some of these units. They're overwhelming me with numbers at the moment. Let's bring another Yari Ash over here. And just like I said, all, all we really need to accomplish here is just killing as many enemy units as possible. That's the best that we can hope to accomplish. OK, 
killing some Lone Sword Ashigaru, hopefully. Let's bring more guys into here. Let's go throw in over here with the Samurai Retainers. The Samurai Retainer is not going to be near as good versus really hoping to get my guys over here because we need to be able to keep them from capping the, uh, the fort. Let's fire at this little bunch here. Let's see what we can do. Put some shots into these guys. Yeah, I got some real nice shots there. Actually got that unit wavering. Doing pretty good over here. We're getting a lot of kills. Still a lot of enemies over there though. The like I said, the biggest thing we could potentially get going for us is the the morale of our enemies is gonna be pretty poor. Because they're all Ashigaru, but I do believe Ikoiki Ashigaru fare considerably better than standard Ashigaru, though we are doing pretty well here at the moment. We've managed to chase out quite a few enemies. And we've actually got a pretty big mass waiver going on over here, too. If we can get the enemy generals to have to come forward and kill them, then we could potentially be talking about a game breaker. And they have dismounted, so if we kill them, the the Iko Iki are going to break and stay broken. Uh, we are taking fire from that tower, though, from some positions over here. Let's see if we can shatter shatter, the, uh, shatter that unit real quick. Our tower may shatter it, actually. So it'll be firing on the way out. Let's just let it go. Let's get our uh, bowmen ready to cause some problems. Is this unit... Yeah, this unit's under fire, so... Let's just leave the vicinity. Um, what is this? Yari Ashigaru coming in here. Let's take out that Yari Ashigaru. Some of the guys are regrouping, and we may we may lose once they all regroup. But I'm I'm feeling pretty confident that if we can kill their general, we can we can take this uh, battle. So I may get over here and see if we can focus some shots in on their general. I don't know which ones they're like general general, but if we can just start killing some of them, it's going to be a big benefit to us. You will attack him. I want the samurai retainers over here to kill this light cav. It's coming up over the wall. Go ahead and attack them. Bows. Let's go ahead and target this uh, Yari Ashigaru that's charging us. Fire, please. Fire. Oh, one of my guys was in melee. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and start targeting this general over here. Got some guys to keep them from getting the fort. Got more Yari Ashigaru coming back, but they're actually getting shot by the tower. They will be able to capture it, though. That's bad, because then I'm going to have arrows <laughs> firing at the back of me. Let's bring these guys around and finish off this uh, Yari Ashigaru. Let's fire at the general. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Kill him. Kill him. Flee. We need to get back onto the town center. We gotta get our archers away from any potential fight. Let's kill these guys. Oh, here's the actual enemy general. I'm gonna send my samurai retainers into him. Because if we can kill that enemy general, that's gonna that's gonna change the game. Yeah, we're not doing great here. <laughs> Let's throw our guys in. Oh crap. That Yari Ashigaru came back at me. Now I've got guys after my archers. This is bad. Let's just put one unit to stand here and fight and let's try and get away with the others. Um, just stick one of them, like I said, and then let's just start pulling the others through. We really need to get lucky and, and have our Samurai Retainer kill their general. If we kill their general, I'm pretty sure all their troops are going to go bye-bye. 
Okay, here we go. We can start firing at that Yari Ashigaru now. Start trying to get some point blank shots. If we can start dropping these guys, we should be able to break their morale. My guys, however, have unbreakable morale. The enemy generals, all that stands against me with all these troops over here. I don't know where he is, but like I said, if we can break him, I'm pretty sure this battle's over. Come on, shoot these guys. There's lots of Iko Iki rallying to the cause. Badly need this general to die. He's down to six men. Fighting up against way more men than he has. Come on. Kill him. He has to die. Chase him. Oh, my guys can't chase him. If they go down, we're going to rout. The enemy general got away alive. There he is right there. Dirt bag. And because he didn't die, his men aren't going to waver. <laughs> this is really bad. Yeah, this is bad. This really sucks. It's a bunch of bull crap. Let's get these units over here. Let's just throw in everything we can. There's another enemy general over here. I haven't seen any messages that say their general have died yet, which is pretty irritating. And then they've they've come and just see what we can do here. There is a mass waiver going on during uh, amongst some of the Iko Iki troops. Not enough, unfortunately. But even if we can just get a few of them to rout, that's, that's going to be good news for us. They've c captured all these towers. Oh, wow. We did it. Yep. They got a chain route. And that's good because they've captured the towers and they're actually shooting me to death at the moment. So this is a very fortunate victory for us. Though the Iko Iki will be back. Um, the, I'm going to have to just try and continue to hold that fort, even if it means pouring all the rest of the money I have in more defenses. And we're going to have to focus to Teta Shengen on holding North Shinano because the U.S. Egg are going to try and end around me, but that'll give me the perfect uh, opportunity to destroy their capital with my other army and put kind of some crushing blows on him. I cannot afford another general right now as much as I'd like to have one, so do not promote him. He deserves it, but Air can't afford it. Let's see. Plus 10 to town growth. Oh, let's go to that. Um... Matsuke can now start driving up town growth in East or uh, settlement wealth in Izu. Uh, we don't have much money, so I'm not going to spend a bunch of it on buildings. Let's see, army-wise, we lost um, we lost some Ashigaru here, and I'm going to have to pay to replace them. Actually, thinking I just want more. I want more um, Yari Ash than anything else, and then let's. Let's rush down here to head off where the Uesegi are planning to go while we take this army and r rush their capital because they've turned around and they're trying to double back on us. This may force an attack out of them, which honestly I've probably put myself a little too far forward here. But if I get to defend, I should be fine. I can pick a nice defensive position. And then let's see over here about whether or not they've left Musashi unguarded. They have. This is, uh, this is a mistake. So now I'm going to take Musashi and Shimosa and Kazu Kazuza, like all these. I'm just going to just start rampaging through here and start taking money away from um, the Yosegi. Even if it rebels, I just don't care. I'm just going to plow through their provinces and I will come back and take them back later. Um, so we're, we're going to just absolutely blitzkrieg these guys now. So let's end another turn. We're going to have to put the pressure on it and, and not let off, basically. So... We'll get a chance to defend here. Um, should be able to do so with enough Yari Ash and Yari Wall. We'll see. It's going to depend on how the enemy uses his cavalry. If they use him poorly uh, and I can get my cavalry on the flanks, then we'll do pretty easy. Of course, the AI gets better ground to defend than I do. Preferably, I would have a hill to camp, but they're not going to give it to me. AI always gets a forested hill, like almost always on their side of the battle. Funny. Anyway, don't really care. As long as I can just camp them, I'm good. Okay, let's get this battle started. This... 
would actually be a pretty good place to defend. Except for that I wouldn't have good... My archers wouldn't really... Their archers would be able to just continue to fire at my infantry. Hmm. I could just kind of deploy across both these hills here. Because this one is impassable right here, so I'd have a natural flank there. Let's do that. We'll deploy with this village on one side, and then the hill here on the other. Uh, we can move our guys once the battle's started. It's not going to hurt us. There. Let's just move up right there. That's going to be our defensive position. Bring our general up. Let's get some cav on the flanks. I wonder if we can go hide some cavalry over here and then pull it out later on. The Segi are moving up. I don't want them to move around my formation, but if they do, they'll have to go quite a ways around because none of this is passable. So they'd have to go clean around, and by the time they did that, I could probably affect her out in the center. So I, I would be okay with that. Their bow samurai will probably just try and bypass uh, my guys. I'm going to try and focus fire. There we go. Focus fire on the bow samurai. Flaming shots. Should do some nice, nice damage to the bow samurai, which is good. We'd love to get them off the field. Okay, enemies inbound on me very quickly now. Let's get into formation. Okay, we got light cavalry inbound on our hidden units, so let's charge down off the hill into their, their light cavalry. We should be successful. Okay. We got another light cav moving around this flank. Let's go intercept them. Um, I'd love... I need some kind of advantage, like being able to kill their general or something would be good. Let's maybe move up and see if we can put some flanking moves. We got another light cav here. More light cav. My light cav, though, has this hill advantage, and they did very well in this fight. We could probably take another fight when that one's finished. Need to finish this one off, though. They're trying to move around behind me. I got some bow cavalry. Uh, we've actually routed some of their troops, so this is quite good. I'm going to rally these guys here, inspire some of these troops in the center. I'm, I'm trying to put some flanking bow fire down here, and it's worked. We now need to just... Now need to just come out of wall and absolutely go chase down all their units. Let's get... Get that light cavalry off my bow cav. I don't want it destroyed. Oh, trying to pull through a unit there. Keep my general safe. Kill the light cav with my bow cav, or with my uh, bow ashigaru. And yeah, we can chase all their archers off the field now. Kill their general. Just attack everything here. Um, I forgot my cavalry over here. That's genius. Leave it to me to uh, micro so terribly. Okay, the light cavalry is going to get killed. Cavalry came back. Okay, some of their units are trying to come back from routing now. Let's just regroup back here and continue to finish off everything they have in the center. Uh, they had a stupid Yuri Ashigaru come back and kill my light cav. So I'm just going to... Actually, let's go over here. It's trying to chase us down. I'm going to give it a couple of waypoints so it can get around the enemy over here. I'm going to have to attack these bow samurai. Their general's now charging my general. Yari Ashigaru coming back into the fight from where they previously had fled. Let's uh, get right back into it. They're going to try and get Yari Ash into my uh, light cavalry. I'll support my general in case I were to get terribly unlucky there. But if we kill their general, then this this gambit's over for the USAG. It is. 
so yeah we've managed to beat them back here uh, we'll see whether or not we have enough troops to actually push their castle um, be best if we did while they're weak because if I retreat to try and repair you better believe they're gonna have time to do the same so really we've got to just push in and get the job done unfortunately because of the way their guys fled in waves there I couldn't just chase all their men down which would have been my preferred method but we've beaten them back pretty badly the Hattori moved in I didn't know they were back is this South Shinano yeah it looks like South Shinano and they have so many samurai, it's ridiculous. They only have like a couple of provinces, so please explain to me how they can afford that. They can't, that's how. Iko Iki trying to put together a little ragtag army and they're gonna start raiding on me to try and reduce my income, and they will. The sad thing is though, is if you do that to the AI, it doesn't matter. So, it's interesting that they can use that strategy, but when you try to do the same, it is of little or no value. Let's bring Shingen down here. Our castle will be able to hold its own. This is the big decider whether or not we can take their capital from them, and we can. I'm going to auto-resolve this because the auto-resolve will probably treat me better than trying to beat down these Anabushi and Samurai Retainers and all this stuff. I'm going to lose a few units, but nothing that's too difficult to replace. So we've taken their capital. That'll put some hurt on these guys. Not enough, unfortunately. Um, but it'll put some hurt on them. And we still have positive food. Taking this big castle, though, ate up some food, as you saw. Though from a recruitment standpoint, it's going to offer me some... Um, it's going to offer me some potential new units. I don't think we need the monastery. Uh, actually, if we do, we can build... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to keep this stuff, actually. Um, so now that we have that, we should be... Should be ready to really start putting the hurt on the Uesegi in, in multiple places. And we just need to, like I said, we just need to do this and just just keep going. Like, do not stop. Just plow from one province to the next. And if it rebels, we'll come back and take care of it later. We have just, we've got to absolutely break the back of the Uesegi. And it looks like they were at war with another faction that was also uh, coming in on their territory. So the Uesegi are, uh, won't be broken, but they're going to be in some pretty serious pain uh, at this point. I'll see if we can maybe keep some of these places from rebelling, but it's unlikely. I want to take my province back from the Hattori. I don't want them gaining any more power than they already have. And then we'll be able to hold off the Iko Iki. So yeah, we've taken Echigo. This general has ranked up, which is great. We should be replenishing troops pretty quick. That'll give us all the campaign movement range we can handle. I'd love to have stand and fight, uh, which we can get uh, once he reaches level 4. Stand and fight would be extremely handy. Proves the rate at which the Bushido arts are mastered. We'll just drop it there. Okay. So, yeah, that, that general's in good shape. We'll just try and hold Echigo. We destroyed that army. We just need to... We just need to push with all speed. Like I said, we can we can jack up their whole operation down here. We need to see who this, the Mogami up here. I may be at war with them. Be, uh, let, well, I may not be either. I know I had joined the war with the Usagi against them at one point, but I think that was the one that I didn't end up finishing. Yeah, so I am not at war with the Mogami, and it would it would behoove me to find you know the enemy of my enemy is my friend kind of thing here. Um, in fact, let's. The Hanma or hospital with me. Do not expect tea. But... <sighs> now they're not going to want to give me peace unless I pay them Speak something. Plainly. Speak quickly. Your presence Even though they're weak. Entirely welcome. Actually, they're enemies with the Mogami as well. What am I thinking? I don't need to make peace with them. Yeah, we're probably going to have to go straight to war with these guys next. But um, oh well, whatever. While we're in the fight and spirit, let's just let's just knock everybody out. I wonder if the Hadakiyama are interested in trade. Time and honor. Ooh, that'd be handy. I'll take that. Yeah, that helps my income considerably. So yeah, we'll take that trade agreement with the Hadakiyama, and I'm three turns away from getting a slight boost to tax income, and then we'll start knocking into this uh, this uh, Chonito. It's gonna take a while to get that one knocked out, but we should do it. 
Um, and eventually I would like to try and get matchlocks. Takeda used matchlocks a little bit historically. Obviously we're going to try and get some awesome cav. Um, just multiple things we'll, we'll work on. Got a little bit of time left in this episode, so I don't think it's going to hurt to go ahead and end a turn. Like I said, we're going to have some rebellions in certain provinces momentarily, like Musashi. That's We'll clean them up once I'm sure that the Uesegi are no longer a credible threat. Now they're going to try and use their agent just to screw me over. They'll probably kill my ninja there. I'd, I'd be surprised if they don't. Matsuke is do very well versus ninja. Yeah, now they're going to try and turn their back and, and run. So I'm going to have to sally out of the castle and kill them. Iko Iki, you're just going to be a big fat pain in the butt. We should be able to sally out and kill them too if we have enough of our men replenished. Whenever the AI can't win, they just go into turd muffin mode where they do everything they can to screw you over. Demoralized, Takeda Nobushige. Okay, Ashigaru Masher, Etchizen. So they killed my monk down here. <laughs> Which is unfortunate, he was actually pretty handy in this case. I'll have to train another monk. I don't particularly have a huge load of money, so I'm not real happy about that. What is this army here? Junk. Let's see if it gives them the advantage on an auto-resolve. More of one than they deserve. Um, there we go, it gave me the victory, good enough. just want these guys off the map. I don't care if the auto-resolve kind of screws me over or not. Um, got a Hattori ninja here. Let's see if we can get lucky and assassinate this bozo. We did wound him. That was pretty lucky, actually. <laughs> it doesn't get a whole lot luckier for me than that. Chance this ninja's detection. Sure, it can subterfuge when assassinating. We'll take that. Subterfuge when assassinating there. Good. So we'll get him good at taking out enemy agents to start with. Uh, we can bring this agent down there. Let's repair our farms. We're going to need them. Military port, I'm not super worried about. We'll take the Fletchers. A little bit of... Okay. We got Shingen. Let's push down here and take South Shinano because, again, I don't want the Hitori having any extra income or power. They don't deserve it. So... And the Imagawa look like they have pushed back the Hitori a little bit for now too, which is good. Uh, this army down here, we do have the expected unrest that's going to follow just leaving settlements unguarded. But it's just going to be a, a function, like I said, just absolutely wrecking the Uesegi. We're starting to have pretty wide clan fame too. Um, now we can kind of just roll back and forth, putting down rebellions. Uh, we have, for the most part, broken the Uesegi. They have other... Well, actually, they must have an army up here because they reclaimed some territory. This army took some losses that we could stand to replenish as well. Let's uh, get rid of these guys. And let's see what we can do as far as recouping those losses in this army. A lot of uh, units to choose from here. Uh, money is still short, so again, for the moment, I'm probably going to stick with Ashigaru. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Probably could use another Yari and another Light Cav. I'm not going to go for Yari Cav just yet. Um, I will, so be patient with me on that one. We've retaken South Shinano, and I will probably just repair the castle, leave it, and, and bring Takeda Shingen over here so that we can pop Kozuke and these other ones. I do want to make sure that we do not trip a realm divide early. Um, right now we're just acclaimed, which is close, because really what I want to do is get some of this land back here taken care of, but I do not want to capture enough provinces to trip the realm divide. Uh, if anything, I would kind of turtle up for a while, do some research, get my economy flowing, because if you think everybody's against you before the realm divide, just wait till after the realm divide, and then literally everybody will be against you. So. We just got to make sure we get everything in order. Hope you all enjoyed this. Air of Carthage signing off for now. I'll be back with more soon.